not for the rest Thank of the day. Thank you too. Long day.
remember.
Tira o
sorry, that was a timeout. By the way, we have won zero games. Um, Game. Right now we're 0 and 6. About to go to the playoffs.
all right so hey guys welcome back i'm so sorry that my camera cut off at the tournament um apparently i didn't have enough battery life my battery was fully charged but um i guess the games did kind of go pretty long so my camera died um that just lets me know when i go to tournaments like this if i'm gonna record all the matches i need to like have two or three backup batteries but it's all good it's a learning experience but anyway and let me tell you how it went so me and robin we were playing and um we were just making silly mistakes right i don't feel like we were ever outplayed um i just felt we we really were beating ourselves so anyway it would end up being two round robins and we played everybody in the um four bracket we lost all those games okay so you play everybody again because it's two round robins of the same group of people so we went through everybody again lost to everybody so then um everybody went to the playoffs because it was four teams in the four four bracket um, so one and four played and then two and three played. So we were four because we were on the bottom of the bottom. We had to play the top team. We lost then. So then that put us in the loser bracket. Then the loser bracket was team, I think three and four ended up being in the loser bracket. And then um, we had to play them and that was the bronze medal match. Whoever won that won bronze and whoever didn't win it, they just go home with nothing. So I don't know, we just like, turned it on and we we that's the only game we won was the bronze medal match game um again against the team we just played twice in the round robin and lost to it's just like i don't know i guess because we were like it's the round robin no worries everyone goes to the playoffs but still we should have just turned it on during the round robin but anyway we cut it on when it counted so uh that's how we end up getting our bronze and then the other two teams played for gold and silver. So, yeah, I feel good about meddling in 4-0. Like, it, it wasn't difficult. Like, the 4-0 teams, like I said, they were not hard to play. They weren't hard to beat. We were beating ourselves, hitting things into the net, missing serves, saving out balls. Like, we we messed ourselves up. We were never, like, outplayed. You know what, I mean? you know what I'm saying? Like, they just had some amazingly good shots that we just could not do anything with it wasn't like that so anyway it was definitely fun and i almost ended up crying because i was just like dude we was oh and nine if you will and then we just win one game and it was the one that counted so <sighs> it's funny how things work out but yeah so this is my second bronze in 4-0 because last time I played 4-0 with Dan which was I think two videos ago or maybe yeah two videos ago at the deep run tournament we played that mix 4-0 and we ended up getting bronze in that so then I got bronze now 4-0 so I'm gonna stay in 4-0 like I said before I'm gonna keep playing 4-0 and um work my way up to four or five my goal is to be like four five five oh by december so we'll see but this to me this is a good start for me so um also everyone was so nice oh you guys would not believe so guess who shows up at the new jersey open today just to play for fun after like pretty much all the tournaments were done like a lot of people just kind of hung around and played some pickup matches so y'all wouldn't even believe who shows up because he just so happens to be in town freaking aspen okay so i don't know if y'all seen it but i have a video where i i met aspen but kind of didn't okay so that's if you if you look in my videos um Go back to, it says, my experience meeting Aspen Kern. Okay, you got to watch that video to understand where I'm coming from in this one. So anyway, he walks in and then I'm like, oh shoot. So I zip up my hood. I put my hood on, I zip it up. And then um, this girl's like, what's wrong? I'm like, nothing. Um, I just don't want Aspen. I just don't really want to see Aspen right now because I made this YouTube video about him. And then she was like, oh, that was you who made that video i was like um you seen it and she was like i saw it i thought that might be you but i wasn't sure and i was like oh, guilty so yeah 
um that's not probably one of my proudest videos but yeah so anyways so, so jay this guy jay gives one he's like hey i'm like stop doing that stop doing that so anyway i just sucked it up he came over to the courts where we were playing rec play well um by the people i was watching play rec play he came over to those courts so i just was like fuck it so i walk up to him i shake his hand i'm like hi sorry about the youtube video and again man of very few words but you know just enough to get the job done so you know he's like thank you you know he was like no problem um yeah i guess he thought it was funny so um anyway i actually got to play with him and mandy um me and jay hall gizmo he's in i have a video in my youtube on him too at the smith mountain lake it's called sml 2019 something 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 you'll see him playing he has the dreads tall guy so him and i played aspen and mandy and then we end up winning a game and then we played them again and then they end up beating us um but I'm sure Aspen wasn't playing full throttle all out, you know what I mean? But, you know, so, I mean, it still felt good, though, to, like, kind of put that on my resume. Rec play, beat Aspen and Andy, but, you know, again, they probably weren't even halfway playing to their full capabilities, which is fine. Um, but I just appreciate it them even letting me play with them because all of them are 5-0 players and or even a, more and I'm sitting here with my bronze 4-0 trying to stunt and fake like I'm all that so um that was fun I appreciate stuff like that so they're not snobby like some but they they, they definitely are not the snobby type um, but I met a lot of 5.0 girls, a lot of them, pretty much 99% of them are sponsored by someone, Selkirk, a lot of Onyx. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Just, just watching them play, you guys, watching 5.0 women play was like the hairs on my arm were like, the hairs on the back of my neck were like, I mean, just standing at attention. It, I had goosebumps. I had chills. I was pinching myself, you guys. Like, I was literally pinching my cheeks going, am I, like, am I really here? Am I right here, like, within arm's reach of these 5.0 sponsor play? Am I really right here? I mean, you got to come. The way they play up close and personal. Like, I watch YouTube a lot. Like, a lot of pickleball on YouTube. Pretty much non-stop. Yeah, all the way to, like, 2 in the morning. Then I wake up and watch it again. Because right now I'm not working. So, I watch these players on... Not these players, but I watch a lot of 5.0 YouTube and women's 5.0. But it is a whole nother experience being right there up close and personal. And I had goosebumps. I like literally had chills because I was just like blown away like how good these girls were. I, I mean, like nothing I've ever seen before. Nothing I've ever seen before. Okay, so goals, motivation. They definitely gave me motivation. And I know where I want to be by December 31st, my birthday. Um, so I, you know, I was talking to all the girls. I got pictures of them and stuff. And, um, one girl, she teaches pickleball and, um, I just want her to help me get my skills up. I'm taking, I go, um, to Jay Gizmo's skills and drills class and he's also 5.0. So I take his class, but I'm going to take hers as well. Like I'm trying to get all the classes, like give me all the classes. I want to be greedy. I'm taking everything. Anything you got coming at me, bring it at me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, she, she's about an hour, hour and a half away from where I live, but I'm willing to travel. So I'm just ready to soak up all the knowledge from all the 5.0 players and um one day hopefully be able to bang like them because y'all they are so motherfucking impressive i wish i had my camera battery on at that time just to show y'all how impressive they were and they were so nice and so gracious to take pictures with me and everyone was so humble they was like you want pictures with us i'm like what you mean i want pictures yes do you know who you are like are you kidding me like they were so, so freaking nice man I want to be friends with them like real 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 friends so anyway um 
so far that's day one of me playing at the New Jersey Open. So tomorrow I play mixed. I actually met my mixed partner. I've never met him. Today was the first day I've ever met him. His name is John Wu. He's from New York. He, he's a strong 3-5 player. And so we're going to play 3-5 in mixed tomorrow. And um, we played a little bit today, probably like a game, not even a full game. It was a half a game because one of the guys backed out because he was just tired from playing all day. And we just wanted to fill our game against each other's. And I think we're going to be all right. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Again, my battery will probably die. I probably won't be able to record all the matches, but I'll record as many as I can. And then if I can't record them all, I will hit y'all with this long ass commentary at the end. So watch out for me. Check me out. Don't sleep, sis. Don't sleep, sis. So um, yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed the video and I will see y'all tomorrow. Good night.